fans, here's one I've been waiting for. The now for our first semi-main event. I've been waiting on this match for four weeks, folks. This is going to be a good one. Fans, want to remind you real quick, you can find us on social media, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram at High Velocity Wrestling, Twitter at HVW Wrestling, and, of course, our website, HighVelocityWrestling.com. Welcome back to, from intermission. This is Tom Clark, High Velocity Wrestling First Strike, here at the Trinity of Fairview Family Center, live, Fletcher, North Carolina, the HVW Arena. And this is the Greek Wolverine Crucifix. Crucifix is giving it to the fans in attendance here tonight. Wants nothing to do with the crowd. He's not exactly a fan favorite here in HBW. He's got an ax to grind against these good people. I have no idea why, but this is just how it is. What's going on? Look at our front row, Logan. Our front row's all about it. What have they got? Are those pencils? Unbelievable. This is awesome. So cool. Looks like pixie sticks. I think it is. Which is just <laughs> ridiculous. Unreal. Unreal. This is great. Our front row loves HBW, man. I have to say, look at that. Oh, he, did he kick in the ring? Kicked in the ring! What athleticism. you got to be kidding me. There's a pixie stick in the ring, fans. And also, the ref just threw one out of the ring. There you go. I don't know what kind of insult that is. Pixie sticks are awesome. Liquid crack, my friends. Or it can be as a child. Don't give your children pixie sticks, I guess is what the message of this show is. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we heard from this man before intermission. This is the great Alexander Moss, also called TGA. There he is, fans. the law of life and those who look only to the past or present are certain to miss the future when the story of hvw is written in the future this next match could become a very pivotal pivotal chapter much has been made about the originals versus the new generation the new blood the old school versus the new school and that is definitely in play here the Greek Wolverine, Crucifix, believes he should be the face of HVW. He was here first. He broke into the sport here, and his career was pre predicated on what he learned in high-velocity wrestling. So he has taken ownership of his past and of his, this company, which he believes owes him something. It does. What does it owe him? No. You say he wants to be the face. I say he is the face. Well, that is a debate. I'm not going to lie. That's a debate currently going on amongst the HVW faithful. On the other side of that debate, however, Logan, is the great Alexander Moss. TGA is a very much a man on the, of the times. You call him Pixie Stick. Unbelievable. Is Chris leaving? What's this? What's this? <laughs> you got to be kidding me. <laughs> Oh, it's <laughs> did he just dump it out. That's littering time. <laughs> right. Oh, Crucifix taking advantage early. Yeah. TGA might regret that. I can't help but laugh. That was something else to see. TGA, as we said before, fans is very much a man of the times. He's confident. He's a little cocky, but he's all business between those ropes. He's the kind of star that fans naturally gravitate to, and he's the kind. Of, fan, of guy that, you know, it's been the case from the moment he debuted at Resurrected. Fans just love him. Mm. 
he fi they feel like he's one of them, that he's a man of the people. Even though he's got this air about him about being successful and climbing the ladder of success here in HBW. Oh my God, he almost lost him on that, but we hit it. Beautiful, nice arm drag that time. And a, oh, he <laughs> That's missed a that one. Move. That You're right, that was a veteran move, no doubt about it. Moss into the ropes. Oh my God, there you go. Missed that kick, he's going for the pin. High octane. Oh. My God. He's dead. That's it. Count him down. Oh. Standing backflip. Athleticism in spades. And Crucifix wants a timeout. All that and only a one count. That's how tough he is. TGA's killing it out there, man. Did you see all that? That's crazy. I knew this young man had it in him. We only caught a glimpse of what he's capable of in that fatal four-way match, but this is this is indeed impressive. But I'll tell you this, don't go to sleep on Crucifix, man. The crowd's giving it to him. Oh, look out! <laughs> oh my God, I thought he was coming out, fans. Wow. Heads up move. Always, oh, look at that. He's going out himself that time. Oh! TGA, look at the fans in the front row. They're sitting back. They're gonna get ready, they're getting ready to catch him. Oh, he missed. Oh, he's down hard. Telegraph that one. Chris, if it's the beautiful that a spear. spear. Yes, sir. Goodness. Second rub spear. Man, that he caught all of that one. Fans, we got to remind you about something that we cannot forget here. Yes, TGA is a man that's successful. He's climbed the ladder successfully. we said before. That's his goal is to be the best here in HBW. And, yes. TGA won the first match at our first big comeback event, resurrected back on January 25th. He did defeat three other men. There's no doubt about that. These are all the facts. But another fact that we have to mention is there's a shadow hanging over this match because somewhere in this building, Ken Magnum is here. Now, I've not seen him. I don't know, but I'm being told that he has arrived here at the HVW Arena. Chris did not hook the leg. That, that my friends, is a mistake. He cinched him up though, surfboard maneuver type there he's got going on with that left knee in the back. As we said, Logan, the shadow of Ken Magnum is hanging over this match. Ken has promised to be standing in the ring across the crucifix here tonight at first strike. What happens when the loaded gun shows up here tonight, fans? What happens, Logan? Tell me what happens. Well, he'll have to congratulate Crucifix on the victory. He <laughs> really believe he's gonna win this, just like that. TGA, not if he has anything to say about it. Nice rollout. Oh, my God. One-legged kick that time. Chris was in a bad way. Oh, my God. He caught him looking. Spun him around. The momentum off that shot. Spun him around in midair. That was crazy. I don't even know what to say about that, fans. That was insane. Moss is in a very bad way. Once again, Chris Fix is not hooking the leg, Logan. You can't tell me that that... He's a veteran. He should know better than that. Is that being done by design? Chris Fix is trying to give the fans their money's worth, even though they're being disrespectful. Or maybe he's just being a bit too cocky for his own good. The fans are rallying behind TGA here, and with good reason. Chris Fix has got him in a bad way, folks. I mean, the fans are rallying behind him, but he's in a bad way. Fans, again, we want to thank you so much for joining us here tonight, the live stream. That, where I come from, is what they call a snap suplex. And no Beautiful one does it better team. tonight than Crucifix. Absolutely. Two and a half that time. We want to thank you, fans, for watching the live stream, whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube. We are High Velocity Wrestling, a professional wrestling promotion based out of Western North Carolina. This is our second big event of the year. This is HVW First Strike. I am Tom Clark, HVW Social Media Director, joined by my broadcast partner, Logan Lockhart. We're coming to you live from the Trinity of Fairview Family Center here in Fletcher, North Carolina, also known as the HVW Arena. Look at the strength. Just ragdolling TGA. I have to say, I'm, I'm totally agreeing with you. Chris Fix is a specimen. He's not very tall, but then again, he doesn't really need to be. I mean, he's got the strength on his side. 
Fans, this is the fourth match of the night. TGA facing the Greek Wolverine. And now Moss is fighting back, fans. He's giving him everything can handle and then some. They're trading shots in the middle of the ring. Time to man up. Moss off the rope. Nice roll at that time. Beautiful drop kick. Ricky Steamboat would be proud of that one. That, my friends, is a great drop kick. And now Crucifix is down. Moss trying to fight up. I think he's just rolling around in pixie stick. <laughs> it could very well be, you're right. Maybe, it's energy and he's back up. Moss is ready. Oh my God, hard shot. Chris is getting back up. TGA is really feeling it now. On the brink of greatness as he says on his tights and now he's rolling him up. Oh my God, hard knee that time. Chris is rocked back in the corner. TGA comes charging in, another right shot. Off the ropes, fans. Oh my God, he got all that one. Crucifix is out on his feet, Logan. I think the ropes are the only thing holding him up. And now Crucifix being set on the top rope by TGA. The great Alexander Moss is going after him. Some hard rights to the side of the head. He's got him cinched up. There you go, fight back. Yeah, Chris is fighting back for sure. He's not gonna be caught in a move like that. Again, as we said before, fans, he is a veteran of the business, of the sport. Oh, wow. Look at that! Oh my God! <laughs> Shut up! You've gotta be kidding me right now. First he power bombs Mitch. He did, he did, and didn't he? He, power bombs, uh, he did that on January 25th. Oh, oh my God! I he had him. How was that not three? How in the world did TGA kick out of that? I think it was just a convulsion. That was insane. Chris is beside himself. I got to say, I thought that was the end of it. TGA has got the heart of a champion, fans. I, I don't, how else do you describe it? Oh, he's got him, small package of tip. Get out. Oh my God, he had him that, oh, nope, reversal on that time. This is, the, this is the moment of the match, fans, where this thing could really go either way. TGA trying to fight his way out of this. Why is the referee Oh, come on, ref, get on top of that. Oh my God, that was beautiful, spinning neck breaker. That's it, he got him. Oh, come on, ref. You tell me he didn't <laughs> see that. You know the ironic thing, Tom? Fans are trying to give uh, Chris a fix sugar, but uh, at the end, TGA is the one that got his fix. <laughs> <laughs> That's unbelievable. Wait a minute. What's this? That's him. That's Ken Magnum. There he is, oh my God. He said he would be here, he's here. Chris is not happy. Kent Madden looking for a microphone. There's TGA fans trying to get out of here. Chris Fix is not having any of this, man. You see, Chris, that look on your face tells me everything I need to know because you look like you saw a ghost. But the fact is, standing in this very building right now with you in the flesh is loaded guns, King Magnum. Oh, 
crucifix calling for security. You're kidding, right? He I called. Said, Chris, I just don't get where you're coming from. I said it a week ago on the World Wide Web, and I'm going to say it to you again, and I'm going to keep saying it and keep saying it and keep saying it until finally one day I have to come out there and feed it in your thick skull. When are you going to understand this business? When are you going to understand this business? Listen to me. I actually prefer pigs and stick. <laughs> pigs and stick. Pigs and stick. Wow. Chris Fix is hearing it from the HVW face. I got nothing to do with it, brother. Okay, that was a little scary, I'm not going to lie. Chris Fix is hot. Ken Magnum means business. I'm not going to waste anybody's time. All I'm going to do is I'm going to let you in on 2005 all over again. A young rookie, Chris Fix, walking into HBW, wanting to be somebody at my expense. My expense. Chris, you are trying to take away the future of this business. You are fighting an uphill battle. You had to come out here tonight and you faced one of the best young talents that I have ever laid eyes on in 15 years in this business, and you have to cheat. What? You Look saw up. it just the same as I did. Look around you, Chris. Look around you. That entire locker room is chock full of men and women ready to take this business to the next level, take HBW to the levels that we never could. So disrespectful. Chris Fix is I agree. hot. He's hot, man. Hey, Look at that. You're not allowed to throw things at the wrestlers. It's ridiculous. This crucifix is high velocity wrestling at its finest. And these people pay your salary. These people make sure you have a platform to come to, to perform. Don't you talk down to these people because I swear to God, in his house, on his property, if you talk down to these people, I personally will come out there and shut you up. Ken Magnum's fired up. I don't know how else to say it. What a moment. He's talking a lot of trash for somebody that's never wrestled a match yet. You obviously don't know the history of Ken Magnum and HVW, my friend. What I want you to see is if the future is standing right in front of you, do not fight it. Do not stand on the track when a train is coming through, Chris. What I need you to do is embrace the future. Be to this new generation what guys like me, guys like Viper, guys like Adam Jackson, guys like Johnny Buffett, guys like Steve Cronin, who broke their back, set this ring up, swept snow out of it in the middle of January to put on shows for these HBW fans. History lesson from Ken Mack. That's what I want you to do. But if you don't, and this crucifix, this, you better get in writing. Because if I say it, you can bet everything that you know, it will come to fruition. If you do not heed my warning tonight, the next time you see me, crucifix, you will play Russian roulette with a loaded gun and you I think he said all he needed to say. That's insane. What an, moment, what an intense moment that was. Ken Magnum is fired up, baby. Fired up. 